In this video, I'm going to show how to export animation sets from Unreal Engine out to Unity and then use the three-peat animation importer to automatically configure them. So here I have animations from the ledge climbing animation pack and I'm going to select them all with Control A. I'll notice if you go up and look at the uh, skeleton, it shows that it's the UE4 mannequin. This pack happens to provide both UE4 and UE5, which is pretty typical and very much appreciated. I prefer the UE4 because it retargets better and cleaner, um, but UE5 also with the uh, using the avatar that I already have in the three-peat animation importer asset retargets with high quality as well. So if we right-click, we go to Asset Actions, Bulk Export, we pick a folder, and so I'll just do Unreal Exports, and then hit Export All, leave everything to its defaults, and that may have actually just completed. Let's go check. Yep, so we have a folder, Unreal Exports, go to Game, Ledge Climbing Animation Pack, Animation UE4 Mannequin, and there they all are. And so you'll notice by their size that they don't have the skeletal mesh inside of them. They're just the animations, which is all we need. And so now we'll take this folder, move it out of the way so I can bring up Unity. And then I will drag this folder. Actually, I can show it happening. Drag this folder into the external animation sets. So now that I have it, um, somewhere. Animation UE4 mannequin right there. So now I have all of them. You'll notice that they're just, they all come in as you would expect, generic, etc. So I can just control A to select all those animations, right click, go to the three peat animation importer and do full using other avatars. So the quick import just sets the avatar as you like it and does a couple things like changing the animation names and removing the typos animation but it doesn't do any of the automatic loop detection y bake y rotation bake any of that stuff so we want the full and we're going to say use other avatar because we have one in the system built for us so if we look under anim importer here you'll see ue4 manny skeleton just click that and it will get to work importing all of them so it's performing the automatic detection it's figuring out which animations are loopable and so now let's go take a look at some of these and figure out what it was able to do all right so that's not loopable all of them look like they're pretty much uh oh there we go there's one that it discovered okay so this is climb hang idle and sure enough it automatically detected that it was loopable that it should bake its rotation because it doesn't actually rotate during the animation, meaning it ends at the same rotation as the beginning. Yep, it's a nice seamless loop. And that we can bake the Y because it doesn't really change. There's no real Y excursion and he ends at the same Y up and down location as how he starts. And so wherever that's possible, it'll happen. So we can just go through and see, oh, yep, these are loopable, but they have... make sure they're actually loopable yep sure enough so there's a but it can't bake the rotation because he does a full 180 and ends up 180 degrees from where he started and he can't bake the y because he may has a pretty good y excursion there oh um, yeah so that's all automatic you'll notice that instead of having them say unreal take or take 001 they're all named properly and none of them are wasting any efficiency they all have the exact same avatar so you can change just the one avatar and have them all retarget in a consistent way and that's it